Hello and welcome to the Cat Collective. I'm Nina. I'm the channel for this channel. And uh, let's start. Uh, if you find a word, it's for you. Organization, limits, dream. Mm -hmm. We'll explore that. I'm just this. <laughs> oh, good luck. The reverse. I think that's your thought process, isn't it? Yeah, that's that. Let's keep that in mind. Oh, finding awesome the reverse. Enlighten your load. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, yeah, yeah, now I know, I know where that, where this reading is going. So, um, I think so something has happened that really uh, made you want to protect yourself, loved ones. Let's see. Actualization. You will achieve your full potential by virtue of your creativity and your honest pursuit of truth. Oh. Very, um, very uh, spiritual energy, right? Very powerful, also. Okay, uh, let's go. For, um, limits. Know that limiting attitudes are often formed as protective reactions to past events. Um, yeah, very dark. It's like, uh, but it's not. Okay, it's dark, but it's not. Um, Dream. Connect to your intuitive dream world of metaphors and symbols. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> um, okay. Um, okay. So something has happened that you wish you didn't, uh, that didn't happen. And it's that you, um, and it causes you to react in a way. So you fi found something um, and you really didn't get, uh, get a good vibe of this. It felt like uh, almost uh, witnessing an offer with roots that is uh, very uh, open hearted and uh, very um, with a lot of love energy, right? Um, but it felt so out of place in a way that it made you protect, you know, it felt like uh, didn't g give you good vibes at the first because it touched you and it felt um, like you didn't want to find this. You didn't want to see this. You didn't want to have that. And you felt like uh, it felt like a discovery you didn't want to make and felt like almost intrusive intrusive or it just didn't feel good or maybe it made you pro want to protect someone because because um you want to have you want to um uh, things to be just and it felt like um it didn't feel good it didn't feel good like um intrusive like really intrusive it's this um with this, yeah, limits. It felt like uh, it caused you to be protective about uh, 
about someone witnessing this. Almost like you want to protect them. Maybe also. You are very empathic, so you want to protect them. And yourself also, but you're also... So it has two sides to it. Um, it's um, with the justice with two, you know, the weight of this. Um, so there, one on one side, you want to protect yourself and you feel um, a bit mm, mm, like <sighs> someone has crossed the boundary for you. Right? But you also want to protect your loved ones. That's very interesting. So it can go both directions. So there's one um, part that really wants... Uh, I think you want to more protect them. Because you think you... Uh, you Maybe you, you have more information... But do you really have more information? That's the question. Um, was it intentional? Was it intentional and triggering? Right? That's the, that's the question that's on the table. Do you really have more information? Was it or was it just a trigger for you? Um, if you feel that, um, you know, be, because this telepathy uh, thing, um, it really feels like um, mm, um, it's in, you know, when, when a telepathic connection is there, it ma might make you feel like you want to protect yourself because, or, you know, maybe you want to, it it feels invasive. That's really that what I what I felt. It feels invasive and it pulls on you. And um, it's nothing to be, um, you know, defensive about. But I still think that you had a defensive stand on this, even though um, I don't think that you see all the layers behind this. Though you might think you do. But it's not the truth. You are not um, seeing all the layers behind this. And vice versa also. A little bit. I think, uh, you know, it's this... Um, you know, whenever something feels intrusive, it feels like someone has... Uh, crossed some sort of boundary when in fact uh, it's not the truth it's just uh, the underlying energy that is um, uh, that they don't know of either but uh, you know a telepathic connection you know all the answers because you are you but they don't know all of it because they are them it just feels intrusive when in fact it isn't because they don't really know a hundred percent you know um but they do <laughs> it's interesting okay so um this this just wants to be like to that's it. That's how it's supposed to be. And it was a good discovery for you because it taught you something about yourself. Um, it's like it's actually something very nice that you um, think is not nice because something touched you. And I think uh, it was this it like something really you have a protective stand about someone you want pr to protect them from heartbreak right you want to do that um but you don't know that they know 
on the other hand, you don't want to, you also don't want, uh, you don't want them to know. Oh, it's a bit complicated, isn't it? So all I can say is that there's some magic involved and it's an ancient magic and it's not something to be defensive about, even though you feel the need to um, be the one um, to make the justice happen, right? Um, there's nothing to be protective about because those, this is, um, you know, those um, um, metaphors and symbols, they are misleading a bit and therefore it's not easy to uh, really know all the answers until, you know, I don't, you know, no one is going to invade your personal space. No one is doing that. Okay, it's nothing to be scared about. You don't, I don't th think that you have the whole picture just yet. Um, you might think you have, but you don't. And it's just, um, it was just there to trigger something in you. And I think the trigger, the trigger is the justice. Because the trigger is um, mm, honest pursuit of truth. This reaction that has been caused is something is, is supposed to teach you something where you might be the where you are protective this part where you are protective about this part wants to be looked at it means that you really care and this is something you might not have had on the table before you really care about something that you are protective about, you know? And this just wants to show you that. And that's all it wants to do, to show you that there's something you are really protective about, that you really care for. It could be that you didn't know that or not you didn't know it to the extent of it until you realize the reaction within you you know what i mean so um yes your intuition didn't mislead you there was a beautiful like this this was this was uh Mm. Okay, so I think this was, uh, you know, there are, there are several directions. So I think you just know one direction, but there are several directions and you don't know all of them. Right? So therefore... There is no need to be protective, so don't be don't be alarmed. It's fine. Um, I know the the reaction was protective, and it's like, you know, but a black cat for me is always good luck, and you know, this is just your thought process. Whenever I see something in the reverse, for me it's always um, your own uh, mental construct that is in the reverse. It's this. Um, that's what you think. You thought that this was not good, but it's ex actually good. Good news, because, well, you might not see all the layers. They do, because they are them and you are you. You also only see, okay, the thing is, you only see your own layers because you are you. So for you, yourself, your own self, you have all, the, all your answers. And they have all the answers for themselves. So therefore, you don't need to be protective because they have, you know, justice. The justice energy gives people um, advanced knowledge that is um, supposed to protect them, right? It's supposed to protect them. Um, and therefore, they have been given the, the information you already have in advance, so there's no need to be protective about anything because they know it's just supposed it was just supposed to trigger you and what it was supposed to trigger was um your protective side 
your beautiful protective side. It's beautiful. It's a very masculine energy and it's beautiful because it's, um, you know, we have masculine and feminine energies, but a healthy protective energy, you know, is comforting for everybody who is being protected because in these days, you know, we are all, um, you know, especially feminine energies are forced to protect themselves. And if you step up as a masculine energy and you protect a feminine energy, it's beautiful. It's it's very beautiful. I think that's there's nothing, uh, you know, that it's healthy in a way, but it depends how you... How far you go with the protection, of course, but it shows you something, you know, because if you have been protective of some sort of whatever you've been protective about, um, it just shows you how much you uh, love them. Right. And it's beautiful. And it's something that feels like. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's just this. Whoever is being protected really um, is um, notices, right? So um, yeah, this uh, this is a bit of a um, an intense energy, nonetheless. Um, so, but you just need to be aware that whatever you found is actually not not um, there's no you know there's no harm being caused for anyone, not for this uh, person with the flowers, not for anyone else. It's just, um, you know, as I said, justice, the, the justice energy gives people who deserve justice more, more information in, in advance, right? So um, that's just something that wants you to be seen. But also, um, you know, there's magic on the table and everything. And it just wants to invite you to um, be a bit more, yeah, to, to open your heart. I think that this moment that caused you to be protective was also a moment that really opened your heart in a way. And um, it shows you something what's in your heart. And that's all it wanted to do. And that's where the healing comes into place. It's beautiful. And it's nothing to to brace against. It's just something that you might have might notice, but yeah. I'm being drawn to um No, I'm not gonna talk about this. Hmm. There's some unspoken stuff also, but um yeah, so um, but still, it just wanted to, the protective stand wanted to show you something you are protective about and make the connection and see how much you actually, uh, how much you care about someone. Right? So don't be alarmed. It's all good. It's just that you need to look at what you what you were protecting and how much it touched you right okay um, hmm. I want to pull another card somehow let's uh, pull a monology card right already almost 20 minutes oh so yeah time for, for a monology card <laughs> Time for healing. Yeah, that's all it wanted to do. That's all it wanted to do. Soul situation. Yeah, and the answers you need are coming. So if... Um, ooh, expect powerful change. Um, yeah, so, you know, there's, there's a difference between a reaction and, um, you know waiting and responding right um so um 
it always unfolds on time but over time but for now it just wants to sh to show you the the protective stand that you had and why you were protective it could be that you were overprotective um and a little bit too alert and a little bit too reactive could be but if you were protective about someone then also consider why you were so protective in the first place um you know yeah that's that's what it wanted to show you right yeah so um let's see who this reading is for Um, yeah, additional infos in the litter box below and see you next time. Bye bye.